but it's not just Nyx Adventrex, it's Nyx Advent Star Trek. And what kind of wine tasting are we going to? A Star Trek wine tasting. <laughs> <laughs> the French bread and butter. So this is going to be a little bit different adventure than I typically go on. I live just outside of Las Vegas and I'm going to the annual Star Trek convention that's happening here in town. So I'm gonna take you with me to a Star Trek convention. That'll be the adventure on this video. Here we are. I'm not really sure this was a shortcut, but I'm gonna get onto the strip. I don't like to say that I live in Las Vegas because I live in an area called Enterprise. I don't like coming down to the strip. It is just a madhouse, so many people, and not my jam. All right, so anyway, Bally's is where the Star Trek convention is happening, and we are headed north on the strip towards Bally's. It's just past the Paris, kind of across the street from the Bellagio. Ah, Vegas. And here we have Bally's on the right. I have to try and find the public parking. It's behind the building somewhere. Fun fact about Bally's, used to be the MGM in the 80s, the same MGM that burned. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, you can Google it. All right, so we're gonna make a right onto Flamingo. Go. I believe that you access Bally's parking, Bally's public parking garage, in the same way that you access uh, the Paris's public parking garage. Oh, I miss the days when it was free to park in Las Vegas. That doesn't happen here anymore. I finally parked. So, back to the Star Trek convention adventure. The uh, public parking garage, Paris, is shared with Bally's, and uh, yeah, we'll see what we see. I don't have any tickets for the convention, but you know, there's always people dressed up, so that'll be fun. Here we go. So right now we're in the Paris, and now we're heading over, crossing into Bally's. All right, I need to find the lobby bar. I have no idea where that is. Okay, I see the lobby, so there's gotta be a bar over here. Okay, I found the lobby bar. Now I have to find my friend. There she is! I'm making a video of this. I figured this would be a good adventure for the channel. I mean, just the drive to park was an adventure. From, I guess, Jubilee. Cool. Cool outfit. Like Bob Mackie or somebody like designed the costumes? Yes. So this is my friend, Marine. Hello. And um, I'm doing a YouTube video. I usually just do camping adventures, but I figured, mm -hmm. well, let's do a Star Trek this adventure. This is certainly an adventure. Yeah. And this is my friend, April. You guys have seen her in my videos before. That's right. April used to work at Star Trek The Experience. I actually used to work at Star Trek The Experience. And she's collecting the Star Trek The Experience uh, autographs. So. And I'm going to get a new one right now. Oh. Okay, I'm going to sign it here. Hold on. Okay. It's somewhere else. Or we can I'll spill I'll over. Right next to yeah? yeah? Okay, cool. I'm always looking for a Good morning, rock on. Woohoo! That's supposed to be an exclamation point with like three things coming off. So there you go. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> Okay, April and I have navigated inside of the dealer's room here at the Star Trek convention. We can't take our masks off. Such a bummer. This is going to be at the wine tasting. And what kind of wine tasting are we going to? A 
Star Trek. Trek. <laughs> well, let's just take a look at all this, shall we? The waters are amazing. Thank you. We got the show prop, and oh. we then did a 3D scan of the bottle and replicated it. The Andorian Ale, what type of wine this is, is Chardonnay. it? Chardonnay. Oh, it's a blue Chardonnay. And then this is our newest foray into spirits. This is the Romulan Ale Vodka. Oh, it's the vodka. So, yeah, oh. vodka. Where do the uh, California grapes come from? Northern, yeah, Central they California? So we source from all over. I'm happy to just step you through. So this is from uh, Porto. From I heard that. Around the Hillsburg area. So that's central, Northern. Central Valley. Central. This is Lodi, Cabernet Sauvignon. Uh, okay. Oh, this is a, a red wine blend of Cabernet Sauvignon, Petit Syrah, Petit Bordeaux, and Merlot. Come from the like St. Louis Obispo area. This is Chardonnay, and that is kind of sourced from the Santa, Santa Tia region near Monterey. Oh, San, Santa Lucia? Yeah. Okay. Back to the Bordeaux, France for that one. So anything that's Picard is coming from yeah, Bordeaux. Yeah, from the, coming from the real Chateau Picard in Bordeaux, France. That's awesome. And then these two, we have a rosé. This one is sourced from Lodi, California. This is a seven year long. Okay. What are the rosé grapes you're using? It's a Grenache base. Is it dry or is it a little it's sweet? Actually, well, I think it's perfect, but <laughs> basically what it is... Well, we'll just find out tonight, <laughs> won't we? <laughs> and, actually, uh, so this and this is Larry Nemechek, who we're friends with, who is Dr. Trek and knows everything about Trek. It's always wonderful to see Larry. Oh, it's always good to see you, Nicole. If you have any questions about Star Trek, this is the man to answer them. That is well totally see <laughs> Gates McFadden, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Yeah, there's Dr. Crusher right there, by the way. Yeah, Dr. Dr. Crusher. It's, it's a doctor's reunion. People say, Larry knows everything there is to do, and I always say no. Especially as the years go by, there's way too much to know. What I try there to do is, is a lot. <laughs> I try to either know it myself, know who to ask, which is a big thing. Yes. Know where it's buried, or at least know where the bones are buried, and nobody will ever know. That's and, what I try to And say. you've worked on a whole bunch of Star Trek series, right? Well, adjacently, yes. Especially the Berman era, and not so much. Well, there's a lot of people now, you know, working on things. But I contributed to the experience also. That's right. I did notes on things. I, I did imagery for the museum. I wrote the text cards for the museum. I yeah. We did some timeline panels in the museum. So, and I was the prop consultant when they did the Borg 4D. So, you know, I have a lot of affinity for the old experience, too. I miss it. Okay, so there's um, Jonathan Frakes Hi, over Max. there. And then that's uh, Robert Picardo over there from Voyager, who played the, the hologram doctor. Then Anson Mount, who's from the new Star Trek yeah, he's Discovery in Strange New Worlds, is right over here, signing. And uh, the new Spock, right? Yeah, Spock, Strange yeah. New Worlds is over here. Dina Meyer. Yeah, Wasn't she a uh, Romulan? She was a Romulan. Yeah, but I liked her in Johnny Mnemonic. Did you ever see that movie? Yeah. Johnny Mnemonic with Keanu Reeves. Really awesome. Based on a William Gibson short story, I believe. <laughs> oh, I was wondering what that was. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the only person I've seen. <laughs> That's the holodeck. The Slee Stacks were a Michael Westmore creation from Land of the Lost. Michael Westmore, who did all of the uh, Star Trek The Next Generation makeup. Oh, and taking a picture with one of the Gorn. Okay. <laughs> Hi, everybody! <laughs> we're at Star Trek. Um, Tracy used to be, Tracy's awesome. She used to be on the Next Generation TV show and the movie. Yay! Yeah, so. And, and 15 different aliens and Lieutenant J. Yes. Very personable, easy to come up and talk to. Yes, thank you. Love your Hollywood squares on the cruise. Penis. <laughs> Spider Man? <laughs> So now we are walking from Valleys to Paris because we need to get some food before we go to this uh, wine tasting, Star Trek wine tasting, because if there is one good thing about Las Vegas, it's the food, and uh, the food at Paris is really good. 
Okay, we're gonna try out Martha's. Oh my God, this place looks awesome and there's nobody in here. This is Martha Stewart's. Well, they should totally open for us. Look at this place. Shit, maybe they don't open until five. Open, open, open. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty. Look how gorgeous this is. I mean, the bar should be open. So we're going to my friend April's room in Bally's. That's nice, but it's creepy because this is Bally's, which used to be MGM in the 80s. I mean, it didn't burn down. It just toxic chemicals. Oh, I shouldn't say that loud. <laughs> but yeah, like a lot of people died. Yeah, like 80 something. The hotel didn't burn down. It was, I think it started in the kitchen. I don't want to talk too loud because I don't want to freak people out. But yeah, it's like some chemicals that killed people and stuff. Anyway, Star Trek. Woohoo! <laughs> I like the red doors. It's very Star Trek, you know? It's very Oh, this is nice. Yeah, it's very nice. What do you have a view of? The parking structure? Ah, yes, the parking structure. Oh, there's the pool. Wow, that's such an odd place in relation to the rest of the hotel. So, out there, following the actual theme of my YouTube channel is Lava Butte. And one of these days, I'm gonna go out there and explore it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, <laughs> Thank you. Okay, we're going to the Star Trek wine tasting, which is a perfect marriage of things we like, April. <laughs> wine and Star Trek. I don't understand why we're not hosting this. <laughs> And I'm doing this, so I can oh! do this. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> All right. Welcome. Welcome. So welcome, everyone, to the Roddenberry Hospitality Suite, brought to you by the fabulous people at Star Trek Wines. <laughs> This is Kirsten and this is Steven and they also used to work at Star Trek The Experience and walking around with a bunch of aliens actually. I will show you pictures of what these people looked like in their alter egos. This guy was a Klingon, Andorian, and you, you're just like everything. You've got like a personality disorder. <laughs> right. Yep, all the way. Okay, so Andorian, Vulcan, and what else? Majoran. Majoran, yeah. Yeah, but for the most part, you were Vulcan and Andorian. Yeah, Vulcan. <coughs> Two days a week. Point, pointy eared and blue. Yes. You were blue. I had blue before yeah. I Borg. Oh, you were Borg, that's right. Borg. And you. It was just awesome. Were a mischievous <laughs> Klingon that would lead people up into the rooms, right? <laughs> uh, I wouldn't lead them, I was just going to uh, fetch them. <laughs> and all these people got paid to do this. That's right. This job in the gap. Yeah, that's right. April, you were the uh, Ferengi Risco too, weren't you? <laughs> oh no. no. Now you're you're just no. gonna <laughs> don't make this into a controversial video, okay? <laughs> <laughs> all right, cheers. Cheers, everyone. Okay, we're gonna try this again. We're going to the Star Trek convention for the second day in a row. It's Saturday, yesterday was Friday. And this time, I think I know how to get to the parking structure without dealing with the strip and just 
the chaos that is going to downtown, well, not downtown, but Las Vegas proper on the Strip. All right, let's give it another go, shall we? It's an adventure. I guess I should say it's an adventure, but it's not just Nick's Adventrex, it's Nick's Advent Star Trex. Okay, so we have taken the airport connector from the 215, which helps us bypass the, uh, the strip. And this is going to get me to the parking structure for Bally's slash Paris with a lot less hassle than yesterday's. So this is a, <clears throat> this is a locals trick. Try to alleviate some of the economic impact of um, drinking at the casinos. It's perfect. Look at the crocheted head from the original series. Wait, the thing that she's wearing. Oh, that's crochet. Okay, yeah. oh, yes! Is. Oh my god. <laughs> that's hilarious. So now we're headed to Mon Ami Gabi in the Paris. I love it. Because we want French bread and French butter. That's it right there. I think this will be a good time to go. It's three o'clock, so it's not the lunch rush. It's not dinner. Enjoy. Fantastic. I think we need some wine. I'll have some rosé and uh, French bread and butter, that is for sure. Uh, can I get uh, the rosé? Flat. 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 Thank you. <laughs> I said uh, at the beginning of the video, um, it's not Nick's Adventure. It's Nick's Advent Star Trek. We got uh, the French baguette. We got the smoked salmon. And the chicken liver mousse. Why would I tell you guys? 
It's delicious. <laughs> now the Bellagio needs to like put on a show. That's right. We need to show. Oh, what? Oh, they're doing something. We're getting dinner in a show or, you know, appetizers in a show. We have a little BBM bar all to ourselves. This is a pretty awesome Star Trek convention. <laughs> birthday. Happy birthday you. to you. Happy birthday to you. Well, you gotta blow it out. And this. Oh. <laughs> Happy birthday. I couldn't celebrate her birthday because I had COVID. So we're celebrating her birthday at the Star Trek convention. Yes. We're not technically at the Star Trek convention. We're at Mona B. Kathy. <laughs> That was pretty good. <laughs> it was. I loved it.